Hey everyone, welcome back to Friday Night Magic with Charisman. This week we are going to pilot this mono red aggro deck in a constructed event. This uh, list comes to us from Achilles from Moto. He 5 0 with it uh, on the 12 6 18 league. It's a pretty straightforward list and one that's been very popular on Arena. Uh, last week we played the Demir control deck and we actually played against this mono red deck. I mentioned then that it was a bad matchup for the Demir deck. We actually ended up winning that game, but it really is a very bad matchup for the Demir control deck. Uh, I think I've played it maybe 10, 11 times and that might be my only win against it. So I decided to sleeve it up this week and see how it does for us. The list is pretty straightforward. We got four fanatical firebrands, four G2 lava runners, four goblin chain whirlers, four runaway steamkins, and four Viashino pyromancers to round out our creature suite. And then all the burn spell packages. We got four lightning strike, four risk factor, four shock, three the flame of Keld, and four wizard's lightning. The deck only runs 21 mountains. Uh, for this deck, uh, the card advantage out of Flame of Keld and Risk Factor are just huge. You just throw so much at them so quickly, and then you just refill your hand and do it all again. So it actually gives this burn uh, aggro deck a lot of reach, which is something most red aggro decks don't usually have. Uh, so let's go over to Arena and try to burn out our opponents. Alright, so we are on the play, and this is a definite keepable hand. We have a Gitu Lava Mancer followed by Shock and Lava Strike and then refilling our hand with Risk Factor. So let's go ahead and keep this. We'll just lead out with our Lava Runner and pass the turn. Alright, so we can Shock the bodyguard here, or we can attack into it. We lose our Lava Runner. I think I'm just going to shock it. The Lava Runner gets better as the game goes along. And there's no reason to trade our creatures for their creatures, as our creatures are sustained damage throughout the game. So I think now I am going to attack into this Aspirant uh, after I Lightning Strike this. Actually, if they sack their Bodyguard, they did not sack their Bodyguard to save the Aspirant. So Benelish Marshal, so a lot of lands here. We're going to pass the turn and try to risk factor at the end of theirs. So a second Benelish Marshal, that's pretty tough. We're going to take the four, and then we're going to cast risk factor. Actually, I guess we should have probably held on to that land, but that's okay. I think I'm going to Lightning Strike anyway. Adanto Vanguard. And another Adanto Vanguard. So we're definitely going to have to block one of these Benelish Marshals to bring down the board. We'll finish this one off. Alright, let's see. Let's, so they're going to get... An extra two, so it's four, eight, eleven. I 
I guess we have to use this on the marshal. It'll save us five points of damage. So this is six. I think we have to play the Lava Runner here and then hold it back to block. Which in the process might give us four points of damage on their face. But we're taking three here. Actually, the Conclave Tribunal, we are dead. Alright, so we are on the draw. Our opponent has already mulliganed. Uh, we have a Gitu Lava Mancer, a Steamkin into a Risk Factor. We don't have a lot of burn in this hand, but I don't see a six card hand being much better, especially since we're in the blind here, and our opponent has already mulliganed. Um, actually, since they've already mulliganed, we could take one too, because it's not much of a risk there. But I think this hand is actually pretty keepable, because we can refill it with Risk Factor anyway. So let's get, let's keep it. Alright, so maybe against the Golgari midrange deck, we're going to lead off with our Lava Mancer here, or our Lava Runner. Guild Mage Forum. Add one mana of any color. If that mana is spent on a multicolored creature spell, that creature enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. And they have to filter through to get it. Okay. I'm just going to cast the Steamkin here. I could attack with the Lava Runner, but I'm going to get them with the Chain Whirler next turn, so I'm just going to pass. Definitely playing Chain Whirler here. And attacking with the Lava Runner. And with a Song of Freilis, it does nothing this turn. It could pump a guy next turn. So they have two here. attack with the Chain Whirler here. And then we're going to play a Lava Runner. And we'll hold back Risk Factor for the end of their turn. Spore Swarm. They are attacking with both of their creatures. Uh, let's risk factor here. And that's exactly what we wanted to see. Let's attack with the Chain Whirler. And we'll cast this Pyromancer. 
Risk Factor just does everything you wanted to do. It's a four mana, it's a three mana uh, char to their face, or it draws you three cards. In, in this deck, either one is perfectly fine. Let's. Attack with. See, they're empty handed. We could attack with everything. They may block with our G2 Lava Mancers, but we can shock something. Depending on how much gets through, we could actually shock their face. So if I shock the Shepherd, they lose everything except for a token, and we still have two Chain Whirlers left, so let's do that. And I think I'm going to hold back Risk Factor, the Lava Man Runner 2 Risk Factor. Our Chain Whirler kind of trumps everything they do. So the game. They have conceded. Alright, game three and we're on the play again. Uh, have a bunch of one drops and some burn. Definitely going to keep it. off with the firebrand here. Alright, so I think we just attack with the firebrand and then we drop both lava runners. I think I'm just going to attack right now and hold back the burn for a second. That way I can Pyromancer. Pyromancer still gets the extra two points we could have done with this. Alright, so now I can Lightning Strike this Druid. We're both stuck on two lands, but obviously our deck cooperates a lot better on it. There's a sentinel, and now I think we got them. I'm gonna shock this guy. I'm gonna shock their face, and then we're gonna 
swing for seven. And that's another victory. All right, on the play once again, and this hand is perfectly fine. Uh, we only have two lands, but we can cast everything in our hand, even the Wizard's Lightning when we have the Lava Runner out. So we're definitely going to keep. So turn one, we're going to lead off with a Firebrand. And get in there for one. Alright, so this turn we'll go ahead and attack for one. And then play out our Lava Runner. And that turns on our Wizard's Lightning. Sort of vampire deck, we're gonna shock that for sure. So we'll shock that at the end of their turn. Alright, so let's go ahead and Wizards Lightning their face. That turns on our Lava Runner. And then we can go ahead and play the Flame of Keld now, too. There's a Pride Mate. Hopefully we don't draw a bunch of lands here, which we did. I'm going to attack with the Lava Runner here. Looks like they're going to take two. And I'm going to hold that back to Pyromancer, because uh, it's going to deal four next turn off of the Flame of Keld. So there's a Raska's Contempt. They're going to gain two and the Pride Mate's going to pump. Definitely going to take three. All right, so we're going to do three, five, so that's eight, and another four is 12. I think we have exactly enough. So there's that. that and this is the win a turn four win all right once again on the play so again another hand that's perfectly keepable the only thing we can't cast right now is the chain whirler because the pyromancer has turned on the wizard's lightning uh, but I'm pretty sure we can draw a mountain at some point so let's go ahead and keep Alright, so we're going to play our Firebrand, and pass the turn, or excuse me, we're going to attack with it first, and then pass the turn. We could attack into this, they'll get the life linker out of it. 
Um, I think I'm just going to pass for now and maybe kill it at the end of their turn. Which will give us an opportunity to chain whirler it away. Ooh, even that token too. Attack with the Pyromancer. It's going to trade with the Witness and they'll get their life linking token. Uh, we're going to play the other Pyromancer here. Pass the turn, and hopefully we can draw a land for our Chain Whirler next turn. Our opponent also seems to be stuck on one land. Alright, so there is... Can Wizards Lightning the Sentry and try to attack through. I think I'm actually going to hold off for a second and maybe do it at the end of their turn. I may even just send it to their face. Yeah, so I think I'm going to kill the sentry, and I'm going to shock their face. And then hopefully we draw a mountain, which we did. So now we can Chain Whirler, and attack for three. And that probably pretty much does it, since they're stuck on one land. We also have Risk Factor and Flame of Kel to refill our hand. And our opponent agreed, so another victory in the books. Alright, so we're on the draw this game. We don't have a turn 1 play, but we do have two very good two, turn 2 plays and two very good turn 3 plays, and the mana to cast all of it. Um, I don't think going down to 6 would be better uh, for trying to fight for a chance to get a 1 drop. Uh, we could end up in a situation where we have less lands and a similar um, spell suite. So I think I'm going to keep this and see what happens. Alright, so Steam Vents could be um, Blu ray Control, Is It Drakes, could be um, the Jeskai deck, could be Grixis, we don't know yet. So there was no Electromancer that turn, but I'm going to start off with a Pyromancer here. Go ahead and shock their face with it, and then pass the turn. You have a radical idea, so this is probably either is it Drake's or um, is it Control? All right, so the Wizard Lightning is now turned on. I'm going to attack for two here, and I'm going to try for a Goblin Chain Whirler. So they're going to opt, looking for options. They may try to find something like, uh, or may maybe try to drop a Drake next turn, which would be fine. We can attack into it with the Chain Whirler. So Pirate's Pillage. So I wonder if this is the deck that wins off of tr uh, Treasure Trophies. So I'm going to attack for three. I 
and play out this second Pyromancer here. And hold back. So there is a Rawl. Always nice to get out of the lab. So he'll probably kill the Chain Whirler here. And I'm going to go ahead and, at the end of their turn, kill their Rawl. Actually, let me see here. So if I do two, this is eight. Actually, I'm going to hold back. I'm going to do it to their face. I'm going to attack for... Two here. Looks like they have some sort of spell they want to cast with it. They got a shock off of one of their treasures. Sure. I'm going to cast Risk Factor now, actually. There's an Electromancer. Alright, let's see how many counter spells they have. that gets there. So, another win. Alright, we're on the draw again. We have two one-drops and a pyromancer. And then two two mana spells and the two lands to play it all. Uh, even though we're on the draw and this hand would be a lot better on the play, uh, I think this deck actually just plays better on the play anyway. Uh, I don't think a six card hand is going to be any better than this, so we'll just go ahead and keep it. So there's a third land. We're going to drop it down a Lava Runner and pass the turn. Alright, so our opponent's stuck on one land. It's probably not going to end well for them. We're going to drop down this Pyromancer here. Go ahead and do another two. So there's a second land. Uh, we don't really have anything to feed the Lava Runner, so there's no reason to play spells before attacking. Let's see what they got here. I'm sure they have like Shock or something. Yep. We'll do one. And we'll play a second Lava Runner. So there's a Drake. So this might seem a little strange, but I'm going to double strike the Drake here, and then get in for four. So 
So they Lava Coil to Lava Runner, and then chart a course, they search for his Kanta away. Uh, so we're definitely going to get in for two. And then we'll play the Flame of Keld and try to refill our hand. So still no second red for a uh, Drake. actually pitched a drake there. So let's cast this. And then we'll try for a chain whirler here. And then next turn should be it. Everything gets plus two. Yep, so they killed the Lava Runner. And Beacon Bolt that. But we still have the victory unless they have a Counterspell in their hand. So we'll go ahead and attack for three here. We'll go for the Pyromancer. And take the win. Alright, we're on the play, and we definitely have a keepable hand. We have two one drops and a lightning strike, two lands to play at all, and then risk factors later to fill up our hands. Double risk factor is actually insane. Um, anytime that you can cast that card more than twice, uh, you're probably going to be in for a a good game. So let's go ahead and keep this and we'll see what our opponent's playing. Alright, so our opponent's keeping two, so we're gonna keep and go with this firebrand and go ahead and attack with it. Maybe they're red mono red also. I don't know if I've actually played against the mirror yet, so could be interesting. So we're going to go with our Lava Runner here and pass the turn. And if they try to kill the Lava Runner, we'll go ahead and light Wizard's Lightning. We may just Wizard's Lightning anyway to get that off the board. In fact, I think that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to cast Risk Factor Main Phase here. So that we can attack for two. So they have a steam kin and a firebrand. So the steam kin gets a little bigger. So let's. Shock the Steamkin here. Get in there for two. And hold back the Lightning Strike. So they have a Lava Runner of their own. And they're going to Wizard's Lightning. We're going to take three. End of their turn, I'm going to whiz lightning strike their face. Uh, then I'm going to risk factor. Alright, so any burn spell, like any shock we draw is just game over now because we already have a lightning strike in hand. So there's the three. And there's a steam kin.
So I imagine we, they have some sort of burn spell. Yep. So I'm gonna lightning strike them now, just in case we draw like a goblin chain whirler, which we just did. So now the game is over. All right, so that deck performed insanely well. We went seven and one, and we did went through the entire gauntlet in about 40 minutes, uh, a little bit less since we did some deck tech at the beginning. Uh, so you can see the power of the mono red aggro deck. It's so fast that the control decks can't don't have time to recover and take control of the game, and the other aggro decks just can't keep up with it because your removal suite's just better than theirs, and their creatures die to things like Chain Whirler and Shock and Lightning Strike and all that stuff. Um, so this is definitely one of the best decks in standard, I think, and it's very cheap to build in Paper Magic and also here on Arena. There aren't that many rares, and a lot of the commons and uncommons come in a lot of the pre-constructed decks that you uh, earn through your rewards. So definitely a deck for everyone to check out, and thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.